Front Street Shelter is a city of Sacramento's municipal shelter, so we are in fact animal control. Uh, we are the agency that responds to animals that are in difficult situations, such as being left in hot cars. Uh, one thing that we can say for certain is that we have in our community, which we're very proud of, seen a reduction in the amount of calls that we typically have, uh, but that doesn't mean there's still not a lot of education to be spread out there. Uh, what we like to tell people is if you're uncertain if your car is going to be a safe environment for your pet while you're out, leave them at home. Uh, typically, in a, even on a 75 to 80 degree day, within 20 to 30 minutes, your car can easily be over 100 degrees, which can be deadly for your animals. Things like heat exhaustion, heat stroke are very real, and it does happen in our community, and we want to discourage people from doing that. Most people are good people, and oftentimes it's just a lack of information or education about situations that cause people to get into these situations. Uh, for pets, they don't uh, exhaust heat the same way that we do. They're not able to sweat. Typically, they're panting. So oftentimes, you'll see if you're walking by a dog that's left in a hot car, they'll be severely panting. You'll see them looking very lethargic. Uh, these are all symptoms of heat exhaustion, sometimes heat stroke. Uh, people who think that they can leave their dog in the shade outside with the windows cracked, it's not a healthy environment for them. Like we said earlier, even on a 75 to 80 degree day, those temperatures can spike to very deadly and dangerous degrees very quickly. Oftentimes, if you see pets left in cars, regardless if the windows are cracked, you'll see them panting in the vehicle. Oftentimes, you'll see them looking very lethargic. Uh, if that gets to an extreme place, you'll see sometimes vomiting, diarrhea. Uh, and in a situation like that, it can be very deadly for an animal. Uh, what we like to always remind people is that if you do see an animal that's in distress, uh, contact 311. That is our call center to dispatch officers out to the scene. If you feel like it's an emergency situation, you can contact emergency services 911. Uh, now, if you do follow those roles, then you, we want you to stay with the car to make sure you can monitor the vehicle. Oftentimes we're getting questions about are people allowed to break into people's vehicles to get their dogs out. It's not something that we encourage people to do, but if you follow those specific steps, you do have the right to remove the animal from the vehicle, but you do not have the right to remove the animal from the scene. So once you get the pet to a safe place, make sure you keep them there and wait for emergency responders to arrive. Definitely protect your pets. It's not just the heat right now. There's a lot of smoke in the air and we want to make sure that you're keeping your pets healthy during this environment. Uh, you know, pay attention to your pets, monitor their food intake, their water intake, always keep them hydrated. And if you don't have a pet, you can always come down to the Front Street Animal Shelter. We're open Wednesday through Sunday from noon to five and there's always lots of great pets available. citation right now okay. and two you immediately leave to an area where you can put the dog into a cooler space you have plenty of cool water yeah okay do you have an id on you yeah